Welcome to our lecture online. Now we're going to take a look at how we add impedances together and we're starting with series circuit. So notice that we have some uh, capacitors, inductors, resistors in a series circuit with a voltage source, a sinusoidal voltage source, a, an alternating voltage source, and we have the current flowing through the circuit. Notice that we have everything in terms of the frequency domain and if we do that, we can say that the equivalent or total impedance is simply equal to the source voltage divided by the total current in the circuit, which is simply the sum of the impedances like this. Now notice that if we're going to add the voltages together, if we do that in the frequency domain, it'll be the voltage 1 at whatever phase that voltage is at, plus voltage 2 at whatever phase that is at, plus voltage 3 at whatever phase is at. So notice that we have to take into account the phases when we add the voltages of each of the three components. Here you can see that the total voltage of the source is not going to be equal to the voltage 1 plus voltage 2 plus voltage 3 in the time domain because they're out of sync in phase and so you can't just add them all together. Typically when you do that you get a value that's greater than the, volt, than the source voltage and so therefore you realize ah there are phase differences here that I need to take into account the way we do it there. But if we're going to add impedances, we can simply add impedance 1 plus impedance 2 plus impedance 3. Again, notice that the impedances have both the amplitude and phase difference. So in essence, when we add impedances, we do have to take into account the phase differences as well with impedances. That's kind of hidden in this equation that is, that is implied that we realize that impedances will have different phases. So when we add them together, we need to be careful how we do that as well. And so that's how we add impedances in a series circuit. In the next video, we'll show you how to, how to add impedances in a parallel circuit. And that's how it's done.